with the new Roblox update that allowed you to uncap your FPS from 60, which was its original, it allowed you to change your FPS limit from 60 to anything in this range without using a third party app like Blockstrap or Roblox FPS Unlocker. But with this update, I guess came two very negative sides. First one being that some people have a higher refresh rate than 240Hz on their monitors, meaning that 240fps is just not enough. Anyways, today I'm going to show you two ways you can unlock your FPS, because right now Blockstrap under Fast Flags, the frame rate limit changer does not work. This is because Roblox uh, got their new Fast Flags uh, blocker, I guess with the new update. So as you can see, I launched my game with the frame rate limit set to 9999, typically unlimited. But when I'm actually in the game, my frame rate is limited to 240. And it's struggling to get over it because obviously Roblox has just broken and limited my FPS. Now ignoring the craziness behind here, you want to open up your search bar by clicking Windows key. And then you want to search up Roblox here and under Roblox Player, you want to open the file location. Once the folder is opened up, you want to right click on Roblox Player, then click on open file location again. And once you're inside of here, you want to check if you have a folder named client settings. As you can see, I don't have it, so I'm going to walk you through how to make one, which is pretty simple. So you just want to go to a blank space here, right click, click on new, then click on folder, and then you want to name this folder capital C client capital S settings, and then click enter, and then click in the folder, and then once you're inside of the folder, click right click again, click on new, and then you want to click on a text document. Once you've made the text document, right click on it and rename it, and you want to type in exactly what's on the screen, including all of the capitals. So that's capital C client, capital A app, capital S settings. And then after you've wrote that, you want to come over to the TXT, delete that, keep the period mark here, you want to have that, and then you want to type in JSON. By doing this, it'll make this type a JSON file, which if you don't have, will not affect your Roblox client, so it's essentially useless. So you want to make sure it's clientappsettings.json, click on enter, and then just click yes on this one, and then it should automatically be a JSON file. If you're having a problem with this and it's not a JSON file, it could be a different one. I know my friend had an issue of it being an Adobe file, just right click it, choose open with and then you want to click on notepad anyways once you've made it into a notepad and a json file you want to double click on it to open notepad and over here you want to copy and paste what i've put in the description down below you can mess with the target fps which i've set to 9999 you could change this to maybe like 989283 uh, it really doesn't matter what number you put in here i just choose to put 9999 because that's ideal so anyways once you've put your target fps you want to go over here click on x then click save and now i'm just gonna open up roblox close it down and reopen my roblox game now that i've just loaded into the game if you want to check your fps you can hold shift and f5 and now you can see your fps and as you can see i am getting 400 to 500 fps which is way better than 240 fps which roblox used to limit me to now we're going to move on to how you can use fast flags with blockstrap which is less complicated than the previous steps Okay, so I've just deleted my client settings folder to show you guys the difference from before and after using block straps. As you can see, Roblox is limiting my FPS to 240. To start us off, you want to open up Google, and then you want to search up Blockstrap. If you already have Blockstrap installed, you want to skip to the timecode on the screen right now. But if you don't, click on the first GitHub link, and then once you're inside of here, you want to scroll down until you find installing, and over here, you want to click on the blue text latest release of Blockstrap. Once you've clicked on it, it should load this page, and then under assets, you want to click on Blockstrap dash whatever version it is. And then once you've clicked on it, it should automatically start downloading your file. Once you've installed Blockstrap, you want to open up search, 
search up Blockstrap menu, open this, and it should open you up to this little app. And then over here, go to your left side of the screen, then find the fast flags. And under here, you'll find the fast flag editor. You want to click on this, then click on add new. Under add new, you want to click on import JSON, and then you want to copy and paste the exact same thing that's in my description down below that we've used for step one. So I'm just going to copy and paste it over here, click OK, then click yes, and then you want to click on save. Now let's go ahead and reopen uh, Roblox. Now that I'm in the game, if I open up my FPS, it is 400 to 500, which is the same thing as what I got on my client settings folder, step one basically. So yeah, two of those things do the same thing as they are the same fast flags, it's just how complicated you want it to be and if you want to download an app, which is Blockstrap. Blockstrap does have really cool features like bringing back the old death sound, you can change your mouse cursor to the old 2006 mouse cursor use the old avatar editor and you get it there's a lot of cool stuff here including the fast flags which we did need for this video so yeah make sure to comment down below how much fps you're getting and click the subscribe button like this video and i'll see you guys in another video goodbye guys